If the social well-being of that, a child has been affected, we can definitely say that that child has got mental health issues. I first would like to say uh, what mental health is. And I can say that it's basically our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. All right. So if, my, if the psychological part of a child is affected, then that particular child, we can say, has got uh, mental health problems. If the social well-being of that a child has been affected, we can definitely say that that child has got mental health issues. So it's all about our emotional, psychological, and the social well-being. Okay. And uh, to answer your question, I can say yes. Yes, children experience mental health issues it's only that they don't know how to talk about it they don't know how to speak about it they don't know how to express themselves not until it gets to a certain level and then you can get to know through their reactions okay yes and what are some of these mental health issues that can potentially affect a child yes they are many I can uh, mention a few of them. There is the neglect. Many children have been neglected in school, okay. at home by the parents or the caregivers or the guardians. Uh, there is the domestic violence that has left children not knowing whether to turn right or left and uh, still their little mind cannot process what is happening in their homes or in their surroundings yeah, yeah. and um, also the lifestyle that their parents or the caregivers uh, tend to live for instance if they are drunkards the children will definitely be affected and they end up having psychological issues which can uh, lead to behavioral problems or behavior problems. Mm. So this means that their environment affects them mm. and so what kind of environment are we supposed to create as caregivers to ensure that the mental uh, well-being of children is, is okay? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Bernice. I can say, out of experience, that the um, environment that has affect the child's mental health is a home environment. If a child was born in the streets here in town, that particular child will be very different from a child who was born somewhere in Milimani, Langa, Langa Langa, or because of the environment, you see. So a child who has been brought up in a negative environment, in a negative environment, that child will have behavior problems and they will never have self-confidence. Instead, they will manifest very negative behavior each and every day. And a child who was born in a very positive home environment, they develop a sense of belonging, that I belong here. I have someone who loves me, someone who cares about me, and therefore I'm loved, I belong here. Yes, so home environment to me is the key. Okay, yes. And this also means that um, for caregivers, they have, uh, they have a duty to ensure even like, how do they communicate is also, can also be impactful on 
children's mental health. So what are some of the communication uh, styles um, caregivers are supposed to adopt in order to ensure that you know children feel loved and cared for? Uh, firstly, the caregivers should be empowered. It's not just ensuring that they eat well, they sleep well, they wake up well. There is much more than just that. So these caregivers should be empowered so that they can know when a child is mentally disturbed. Uh, they should be in a position to know through observation that the child is withdrawing, ma withdrawing maybe from social interactions. And uh, I basically uh, feel that caregivers should as well be mentors because children at this age learn by seeing. So if they see negatives, then they develop that negativeness in them. Okay. If they see positive things, then that's exactly what they absorb. Yeah. So caregivers, for instance, should not be yelling at them. Like last time, a child told me that the father has been telling him that unaka ngurue, unakula kama ngurue, una. Yeah, and the child believes that part of him, Ningurue, you see? Yeah. So it's, it depends on what we put, what we instill in the young minds, in their young minds, so that they can negotiate their, their small worlds. Mm. Some some of the communication and some of the language that used is supposed to be used at home is positive affirmations. Yes. 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 Yeah. Positive affirmations, because the the, the the child will now face life positively, yeah. even when things seems not to to work according to how it should. Mm. They still have at the back of their minds that all will be well. Because whoever lives with them, the caregivers, the parents, the guardians, they tell them each and every other day that things will be well. Yes. Yes, they might not verbally tell what they are going through. And that's why I talked of uh, empowering the caregivers. There are a few things or many things, though I'll mention a few, that you might see and you get to know that a child is suffering from mental health issues. One, they become so impulsive. They just do things. Hmm? They just do things without even thinking the repercussions. Others get so irrit irritable. <laughs> uh, they get irritated by very small things. And the major one is that they withdraw. They don't want to associate with other children. It, could, it can be a very play, uh, playful child, and all of a sudden, you see them somewhere sitting, and you can tell they are in their own worlds. That's a sign to say that something is going on in his or her mind. They withdraw from social interactions. There are those who sleep a lot. <laughs> Just because they don't have time to play and do exercises and interact with others, they sleep. Some will lose appetite. They don't want to eat. And when you talk to them, some will just do like this. That means a lot. Yeah. Before they do this, something is going on at the back of their minds mm -hmm. and um, some also do bed wet okay. and there are those who will wet their beds just because they are not themselves and so it's at this time when they need someone to intervene mm -hmm. 
and get to know what is happening in their worlds. Mm -hmm. mm. And what about in school? What are some of the behavioral changes um, teachers maybe can uh, be able to identify and know that this child is not okay? Thank you, Bernice. One, the withdrawal. There is the consistent, consistent um, sadness. You can tell through the non-verbals. Because if a child is like this throughout the lesson, there must be something. Yeah. They also don't um, seem to be getting so serious with the assignments. Okay. And there are those who will just be uh, hyperactive. They are just jumping, jumping from one table to another. Why? Because they, that's how, that's the only way, according to their, according to them, how they can emote. Yes. But the teachers as well need to be empowered. It's not every time they should use a cane <laughs> or harsh words. So um, a child basically needs uh, food, shelter, clothing, and these are just the basic needs mm -hmm. that one needs when they are growing up. Mm -hmm. So the lack of thereof, it is the lack of the basic needs. How can it affect a child? Yeah, this is really affecting so many children, bunnies. Yes. And uh, lack of these basic needs has exposed many children to greater levels of stress. The ch children are stressed up. And once they get stressed up, then they end up uh, getting other psychological problems just because they don't have basic basic needs. Okay. A hungry child uh -huh. is a stressed child. Okay. A child with maybe torn clothes is a stressed child. And a child without a shelter, a roof over his head is a stressed child. And therefore they end up having so many psychological problems. Okay, so moving forward, what would you tell the caregivers at home? I can tell them to take care of the small children. And they should understand that they also have mental health issues. In their small worlds, they experience so much. Before jumping to conclusions, they should sit down with children or as a caregiver, sit down with a child, talk to, talk to him or her, yeah. and uh, not as an adult, so to say, but allow the inner child to get in touch with that particular child, so can so that you can address their issues yeah, sure. in a language they can understand. Sure. 